What's up, guys? Just want to make this quick pre, pre um shoot pre video, pre advertisement show. Like always, Smart Soap is our sponsor of today, and you can see their ad here. Thank you, Sparso, for sponsoring this video. Much appreciated to you guys. As always, links in the description box down below. Please check them out. Uh, they do support the show, but don't worry. No added cost to you guys. They are a soap company. Shocker. Um, and they basically help guys like me who are both martial artists and lifters to basically keep clean. Obviously, if you're a martial artist, you don't know who has what. Just sweating everywhere. Same thing with lifting too. You don't know who, like, which sweaty person touched what, and yeah, it keeps you safe. It keeps you clean of uh, clean. It keeps you safe from ringworm and like other stuff that could actually be number one contagious. Number two, it'll be very harmful for you and other people. So just stay safe. And like I said, it's a great soap company. I actually personally use this, so I can actually tell from experience that hey. This is something that you should definitely check out. But as always, thank you for listening, and here is your podcast. What's up, YouTube? It's your boys again. Come back to another video on this channel. As always, I am the Rhino. I am the Bat. And as usual, every week we do our weekly sports podcast. So let me share my screen. All right, so we're going to start off with the Champions League. Dude, That's exciting, nice. exciting actually in the Champions League, though. Yeah. So Chelsea won 2-0. to zero. Um, Who won? I mean, 2-1, to one, my bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, did not, I did not see that for a second. And then Sevilla beat Krasnodar 2-1. to one. Then Manchester United beat Istanbul. Okay. I'll tell you, one Portuguese player scored two goals there, probably goals of the season so far. Barcelona you. smacked Dynamo. This is where you probably got four, uh, three zero from uh, two zero from earlier. <laughs> then PSG beat out uh, RB Let's Leipzig. I'm not Leipzig. Leipzig. Then Lazio three to one to Zenit, which is yep. Then Dortmund three to zero against Club Brew. Then Juventus, the goat, CR seven scores. I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. It's name. A, it's a Hungarian team. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow's games. Um, uh, oh, one one American player scored today. Oh, nice. For Barcelona, score the first uh, goal, please. Um, right, Olympiacos against Manchester City. Then uh, Montreal, I don't even know how to pronounce that, against Shakhtar. Uh, then Marseille against Porto. Hey, Marseille, do us a favor. Smash that team, please. Yeah, that... And then Liverpool against Atalanta. Liverpool could have some hard time, but I think they'll go through, even though I'm not their fan. Uh, they got a Portuguese player, though, Jota. And Inter Milan against Real Madrid should be a good one. That's probably a match of the day tomorrow. Yeah. Then the defending champions against Salzburg. And then Atletico Madrid against Moscow, Locomotive Moscow. Yeah. Then Ajax against Midget Land, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. <laughs> and That's I all think it's tomorrow. And then match day of five of six is happening on next week. Literally a week from today when we're recording this. So then, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that then. Yeah, this is too too early to predict right now. Yeah. Let's go on to the NFL. All right, NFL week 11. 
Can you do your Eagles? My weekend? team was on bye week, but I still saw some games. Yeah. You know, you know what kind of sucks? Joe Burrow's injury. Yeah. He was loyal to the team. He was loyal to his home team, and then gets an injury from yeah. that franchise, which has been known to get injured. And my prayers go for Joe Burrow for his ACL and MCL that he received. Yeah, he's out for a year. He's year done plus. for the season. He's gonna be yeah, out. I'm just saying, like overall, he's out for a year, year plus. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the Cardinals and the Seahawks. Seahawks win 28-21 against the Cardinals. This, is, this was actually a good game. I saw it too, yeah. This was actually a good game. Uh, then you got the Titans beating out the Ravens in OT, 30-24. to Then the Panthers beating the Detroit Lions. Or Carolina Panthers, I should say. Just yeah. Yeah, this is – And then uh, – Cleveland Browns beating uh, Philadelphia Eagles 22 to 17. Yeah. Then the New England Patriots losing to the Houston Texans. Then you got the Colts beating out the Packers 34 31. This was a good game. I saw this one. Yeah. That was a good game. I'm going to leave this one to you. So this is your team. Then you got my Steelers, my homeboys, winning. Ten straight games against the I guess I was going to say Carolina against the Jacksonville Jaguars, beating them twenty-seven to three. So I'm happy. <laughs> you guys need some tough contenders there. See, uh, I do, I do agree that you guys have a good defense right now. Yeah, right now, um, we're I think we got like the Ravens, Steelers, not the Ravens. Um, yeah, we got the Ravens. Yeah, you guys play Ravens on on Thursday on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, we play there's uh we play the Ravens on Thanksgiving Day. So that's gonna be a fun game. Yeah. Then you got uh the New Orleans Saints who did pretty well without Drew Brees, you know, Hill. Yeah, number seven did pretty play pretty good, but it's also against the Falcons. He needs much improved after this game. See how far they can go without Drew Brees. Yeah. Then you got the Feel bad for taking him out. It was my team that took him out. <laughs> yeah. Then uh then you got the, the Washington football team winning against the Cincinnati shit goals. I mean Bengals, uh, twenty to nine. Sorry, I really don't like Cincinnati. I'm a Steelers fan. <laughs> then uh, Dallas Cowboys actually winning against the uh, Minnesota Vikings, which yeah. I don't know what the hell's going wrong with the Vikings right now. Yeah, they were they were much. literally a good team last season. This season, not so much. Yeah. And then this was a good game. This was a fantastic game. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah, they the Chiefs needed to win this one. They couldn't be swept for the season against Raiders. And then you got the Miami Dolphins losing, obviously, to the Denver Broncos. This yeah. one was a weird one to talk about. Yeah, I don't I don't want to talk about this personally. <laughs> I got nothing against either team. I just don't really want to talk about it. And then you got the Jets, as usual, in another loss for the season. They're probably going to go see on 16. I don't, I don't know. I've seen them yeah. winning the game. I don't, I maybe one game, maybe at the, like, the last game of the season at best, but I don't see. Even that's kind of like. I doubt it. They're yeah. not going to win a game. Just like, man, they can't even beat. They're literally the worst organization in sports. Yep. In all the sports. Probably even worse than the New York Knicks of NBA. Yeah. Then you got the... That bad. Yeah. And then uh, then yesterday's game, LA Rams against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was doing for Tampa. Tampa, how can you lose? Dude, Tom Brady needs to... uh, Got intercepted twice. And he got sacked many times in this one game. Like, his offensive yeah. line ain't good. He only realized too much on Gronk. Yeah. Which is, Gronk, I don't think, is the same player as he used to be. He, he is. And after the whole him leaving the Patriots, he kind of went downhill. He went, he went to the WWE after. He should have stayed there. Yeah. He was ruining his legacy now with Brady. Seems <sighs> yeah. something by Chicago Bears, which is they're going to be playing – 
next we'll, we'll, Green deal, Bay. We'll, we'll deal with the the next week in a few minutes. But the teams on, that were on by are the Bears, the Niners, the Giants, and the Bills. So let's move on to the next week, week twelve. Yeah. Do you believe it's already week twelve, bro? <laughs> kind of sucks that you we cannot even go to a game. If there was like fans, that probably would have been like all the home games already. Yeah. But all right. All right. I'll okay. let you start this one. On Thanksgiving Day, you got these teams. You got the Texans going down to Motown against the Lions. And then you got the Washington football team against the Cowgirls in Arlington, Texas. And you got my squad, the Steelers, hosting the Ravens. Um, yeah, that's going to be a good game. I mean, to be honest, great game. I, I, think yeah, that's gonna be, I think that's going to be the game that highlights the other two games in that. Yeah. Yeah. I think also, we want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Be safe and enjoy the meal. Enjoy the day. Of course. Um, happy Thanksgiving and don't be stupid. Don't worry. All right. And then, and then uh, on Sunday, the Vegas Raiders against the Atlanta Falcons. I think the Falcons are going to lose that game. The same. Then the Los Angeles. I mean, yeah, Los Angeles Chargers against uh, Bills. The, uh, the Bills, yeah. You okay, bro? You're kidding me. Buffalo, yeah, yeah. I, was, uh, I, got, I got confused with some of the names of the Buffalo Bills sometimes these days for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then you got the New York Giants against the Bengals. Yeah. The Tennessee Titans against the Indianapolis Colts, both same record. I think that's, that's going to be a fun game. game. I think that's going to be a fun game. Yeah. And then the Browns against the Jaguars. Hey, I'm sorry, but I think the Jaguars are going to lose this one, bro. I think they're going to take the number two spot in the draft after the Jets. And then the Carolina Panthers against the Minnesota Vikings. I can see the Panthers winning this one. Yeah. Then you got the Cardinals going all the way to Foxborough against the Patriots. So that's going to be fun. Then the Miami Dolphins against New York Jets. The Jets are losing. And then the New Orleans Saints against Denver Broncos. Well, that's going to be an interesting game. And then my team against the L.A. Rams. We beat them earlier this year. Yeah. But I think we're going to lose this one. But we'll yeah, give them a hard time. Yep. And Hopefully. then you got the Chiefs against the Buccaneers. I mean, the Buccaneers and Florida. So that's gonna be fun to that's watch. That's gonna be a good game to watch, yeah, too. And uh, that's night. probably that's probably America's game of the week. Yeah, Chiefs yeah, and Bucks. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I could see maybe. Well, Bucks have been surprising me. They're a team. They're kind of like the San Jose Earthquakes, where they play good, then they play crap. Yeah. Like, you know, the the Raiders beat the Chiefs. And the Bucks smashed the Raiders earlier this season. So yep. we'll see how this game goes. Then you got the Chicago Bears against Green Bay Packers. And then for Monday Night Football. We got the Shithawks against the Eagles. Yes, I'm calling the Seahawks the Shithawks, so I don't care. Fight me. <laughs> I agree with you on that. I don't like the... I don't like Seattle either. They're in our division. Yeah. I'll tell you the thing about Seattle, though. They have a pretty good offense, but their defense sucks this season. Yeah, agreed. All right. I think yeah. on our way to the UFC now. Yeah, they're... Which is, we heard some good things today. You want to, on... you want to do last uh, Saturday night's fight or no? This last fight? I didn't see it. I saw it. You should do it since you saw it. All right, we'll just do the main card. You got uh, in the lightweight division, you got Shogun Hua losing by TKO against Paul Craig. That was who else a brutal KO. I honestly think that Shogun Hua should just hang it up now. Yeah, he he himself. He did. He had a good career. He had a good career. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Even but like I think it was last he's, he's getting fight. old. Once you get once your age is like up there, you're not the same. Like it's like every other athlete sport. You age, you don't you're not the same in your prime. Yeah. It's gonna be like the next DJ Penn if you keep fighting. Yeah. Then, then you got Caitlin 
Chukagian. Chukagian against Cynthia Cavillo, who and trained at AKA for a second, but she's Team Alpha Male from Sacramento with Uriah Faber. Yeah, Caitlin, Caitlin won that fight. And then this yeah. one, this welterweight fight, this is – I heard I heard about this one. I heard of what happened to Mike Perry's face. Yeah. By the <laughs> way, just for the record, Mike Perry came in like four or four and a half pounds overweight and just said, Hey, I'll just take I'll just give up like 30% of my purse. I'm just like, bruh. First of all, you lost by decision against Tim Means. And number two, you lost, you didn't make any money as far as I know. And I could be absolutely dead wrong about this. So if anyone wants to correct me, feel free to correct me and call me out on this. Like I, if I, if he made money, I do apologize. If he made money, and number three, you got your face basically bashed in. <laughs> Let's be honest. It was. I saw. Big, I saw. I saw the pictures. I saw the pictures. It was. You. You can. You saw the pictures. You. You like. I, am I wrong to say his face basically got bashed in? <laughs> it got smacked hard. It literally looked like he got hit by like a frying pan like three times. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. Dude got his face bashing. Let's let's leave it at that. All right, Neron's uh, girlfriend. Then he got my, then he got my girlfriend, um, Valentina Shevchenko, winning against Jennifer Maya by decision. Again, she will always be my girlfriend regardless of uh, if she ends up getting married or not. <laughs> and then he got, yeah. He got, uh, I heard, I heard, I heard um, that by Sean Figueredo is fighting again back to back in his next event. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting come on because, like, I just and hope it doesn't turn out to be like uh, what happened in Tony against Gaethje, where it's like he, he just looked, Ferguson just looked so out of it. Like, I think the reason, I think the reason why, two, two things. Tony was mostly prepared for Khabib. Right. He was prepared to get wrestle or grappling. Right. And then and then Justin get in. And also another thing about Ferguson is that he likes to get hit. It just I think it's gonna be different in his next fight. I don't think it's gonna be the same after that. Yeah. And then you gotta figure out winning by submission against Alex excuse me, against Alex Perez. That was a fun fight to watch. How do you go to the next event here? Oh, right there. Sorry. No bets. See? Yep. I feel bad for these guys. They have to fight like after uh, holidays. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Yep. In the, the main card? Yeah, this is the main card. Yeah, there's a lot of fights for Yeah. Then the main you got uh Bill Ag Agalo. I'm going with Agalo against Spike Carlisle in the featherweight bout. That's gonna be a fun one. That's gonna be a fun one. I don't know if you either of those guys are. <laughs> yeah, both of them can fight. Both both of them are um yeah, both of them can fight well, in my opinion. Then in the welterweight, you got Miguel. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name again. Takashi Soto. Beza. Yeah, Beza. No. It's a kind of. Must be a Portuguese uh, name. Then Amir Abazi and. Uh, oh, geez. Jolga Jumangolu. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Then Josh Parisian against uh, Parker Porter. This is gonna. Be, I like personally. I like watching the heavyweight bout mainly because it's like they have like. Explosive that's because power. that's where you belong. That's why. <laughs> yeah, and that's the weight class I belong to. So. I think this is gonna. I think this is gonna be easy. I know who Anthony Smith is, but I don't know who Devin Clark is. But you know, it's every May anything's possible. But Anthony Smith almost gave John Jones an L. Yeah. He, he was one, one of the guys. Of, yeah, he was one of the two guys who. And he fought, and I believe he fought with his like knee injured, like knee. Yeah. Screwed up. Yeah. And then and the then, final one is uh, Derek Lewis fighting Curtis Blade. That's going to be a fun fight. Both of them are my, in the top five. My boss was hot. 
That's what he yeah, said. Derek, Derek Luke, UFC like, 229, the same Khabib versus McGregor event. Yeah. I, I honestly <laughs> think that's like far the funniest interview I've seen. It's like Joe Rogan came up to Derek and was like, hey, Derek, why do you take your pants off? Because my balls are hot. And I was like, yeah. I was like, that was like the funniest quote of the year. Oh, yeah, I can't man. believe that's already two years ago. Yeah, I know, right? Just like, man, just like, just thinking about it. I remember where I was in that fight, in that event. I remember where I was. <laughs> and speaking, yeah. speaking, um, does it show you the other events when you go to the event? Because I, I believe, um, uh, Oliveira is fighting Ferguson. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I don't, don't remember where, when, or when he's fighting, rather. Um, here, go back, I think. I think you have to go where it says events. A great, a top, top, okay, top left. Fine. There it is. All right, let me go to events. Uh, I don't think it's this one. The main event has to be with, uh, let's see. Ooh, what? Saturday, December 19th, UFC Fight Night, Edwards against uh, Chimave. That guy's uh, pretty in the hot spot yeah. right now. Yeah. That's absolutely, that's a good card. This has a good card. Yeah. For free, for, look, look, click again. Yeah, these guys are all fighting. Click again. Yeah, this is going to be a fun card to watch. Yeah. I can buy him span. He's good. <laughs> Look familiar? Yeah. You got the King of Rio. 13 seconds. Yeah, that's how long it took to get his ass. He was undefeated for a long time. It only took him 13 seconds against Conor McGregor. Yeah. And then Holloway. Oh, that's a that's the start of the year next year. Yeah. And uh, scroll down a little bit more. I'm pretty sure it's does it show any more after a little more. No. No. Well, we do know what's going to happen next year. It's going to be uh, the Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier two, January twenty fourth, in okay. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, fight out. Which might be at 11, or it could be uh, maybe at the normal pay per view times. Yeah, it's gonna be, I think it'll be a good fight. It's gonna be fun to watch. I think, I think Dustin Poirier is a lot more improved now. Yeah. I'm not saying that because you know, but at the end of the day, they both lost to Khabib. Yeah, they, they both lost to Khabib, they both, they both lost, lost to the Eagle, and um. You know, I gotta say, as an American, I'll probably be rooting for for Dustin. I kind of lost respect a little bit for Connor though, because he punched an old man in the bar. Yeah, same. Like, but... I, mean, I I lost I lost respect for Connor when he threw that dolly into the bus. Before. Oh yeah, at UFC two twenty three. No, yeah, two twenty three. That's when that's when I kind of lost respect for him. He literally, you know, literally. When he threw a dolly at the bus, he was with his team pretty much. Yeah. And after the his fight with Khabib, Khabib jumped out of the cage and jumped on Dylan Dennis with the whole team by that himself. Was funny. By himself. I don't know. You should watch the replay of that. Yeah. One guy's running in the cage. I don't know if you see that, but he trips. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. You saw that? <laughs> I was laughing so hard when I was watching that. I was like, it's literally, that's like, he got trampled, obviously, after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy that was running, you, <laughs> he was like, boom. <laughs> you saw that too, huh? Yeah, I remember, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <sighs> that was funny. That was really funny. And also, I don't know what, but I think UFC 257 is, uh, Oliveira versus Ferguson, which is, should be a good fight. Mm -hmm. Then you got um, what, what's the other guy's name? I forgot his name. 
He was the flyweight champion. Just defended. Oh, um, Figueroa? Yeah, him. He's fighting some other dude that I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to even touch the name or find out who it is. So I don't want to, I don't want to get that wrong. And then I think that's pretty much it for the UFC. I think that's it for the year, obviously. Uh, yeah. Unless like there's a big fight after. Uh, I, th- I believe UFC 257 is the last pay-per-view of the year, right? Yeah. The Max Holloway fight is the first fight of the next of 2021. Yeah, that's and I believe that's a fight night. Yeah, it is. Which is good because you know, I don't want. Most people don't have the money to go around right now. Well, I could buy. I just like my card always gets hacked every time. Right. I literally had to get a new card from the bank again in three months. What the hell happened now? You need to stop going to those sites, man. Yeah, I don't go to those sites, but I know you do. <laughs> I go to the sites, but I watch it for free. <laughs> I never all, have to pay for that. First of all, fuck you for saying that. It's just a certain <laughs> thing. Hey, 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 everybody watches it. Every, everybody watches it. I admit, I even watched it probably the past two weeks. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so we're going to end it here. Uh, all right, we'll end it here before before we start. Uh, we it we're not supposed to on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So again, thank you, Nesparso, for sponsoring this video. As always, they are our sponsor on this channel and many other videos on my own personal channel. If you want to check those out, feel free to check them out. Um, follow us on Instagram at Firehawk Archer One. That's mine. That's the Rhinos uh, Instagram. Or Cool Victor Seventy Seven. That's the Bats Instagram. Or, check, or follow us, follow the podcast uh, on Instagram at Rhino and the Bat Podcast. Literally, that's how you spell it. That's the way you spell it. Uh, Spar Soap is a organic soap company. Can help fight ringworm for anyone from uh, from like people like us who are the every sport. From any, everyone from the weekend warriors like us to the professional athletes like Antonio Brown, Ben Roethlisberger, just to name a few. So yeah, it's a really good thing. Uh, check out check them out at sparsoap.com. Highly, highly recommend it. I actually per- use it personally, and I feel so much better after using it every time. <sighs> All right. As always, have a good one. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace.